subliminal messages in this 2012 movie. Here you have a man on the street corner holding up a sign which states, Repent, for the end is near, meaning the end of this empire and the end of wickedness, the end of injustice, the end of sorcery, slavery, witchcraft, unclean spirits, the end of celebrating that so-called wicked satanic so-called Thanksgiving assassination day which many of our so-called Native American Indian brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, was brutalized with a horrific death. They were annihilated with genocide smallpox, orchestrated by Jeffrey Amherst, the commander-in-chief of the British Armed Forces. In the mid-18th century, in the year 1828, Andrew Jackson supervised the mutilation of many so-called Creek Indian brothers and sisters cutting off their noses. Man, woman, and child suffer supreme brutality. And here we are still celebrating this garbage on November of 2009. We love to continue to celebrate the bloodbath, death slaughter of the so-called Indian brothers and sisters. We eat the feast of wickedness and teach our children to celebrate the banquet of wickedness. As this example that I'm giving you here today, from this newspaper clipping, which occurred at August Martin High School for November 2009 of this year. Councilman Thomas White Jr., Councilman Leroy Comrie, and Assemblywoman Vivian, they cook and enjoy a elaborate death slaughter Thanksgiving feast of bloodbath day. Because we are supreme fools, brothers and sisters, Supreme fools who teach our children supreme foolishness. As Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 explains, our extreme ignorance. So-called Thanksgiving is like making up a day to celebrate how Sean Bell was shot with 50 bullets. And then we turn around and drink and laugh and giggle to the death of Sean Bell. We are really some foolish people. Times are critical and we still are celebrating that. Because it's Proverbs chapter 18 verse Two states, a fool has no delight in understanding concerning what is right. Celebrating Thanksgiving is like making up a day to celebrate how that cop called Justin Bolt, how he rammed that pole stick up Abner Louima's backside. And then we'll make up this holiday and we'll call it Ram the Pole of Abner Louima's Backside Turkey Day Celebration. Because as Proverbs chapter 26 verse 1 states, how honor towards what is correct is not seemly for a fool. The same exact things that happen to our brothers and sisters that they call Native American Indians is the same exact thing that happened to our forefathers on the West Coast. How foolish are we? And we always like to make our, our own definition, but that's not the issue of the matter. That's not why this day's so-called Thanksgiving was set up, was established. It was established to honor their forefathers who were known as the pilgrims who sabotaged, brutalized, destroyed, killed pregnant women north, south, east, and west of our Native American Indian family. And this day is to commemorate how their heads were chopped off, which where the game football came from. But as we go to the book of Enoch, chapter 42, verse 2, and it states, and this is the situation of the matter, how wisdom went out to meet her dwelling among the children of men to educate them. And then wisdom found no dwelling place in the minds of many, woman and child and men. Therefore, wisdom has returned to her place and took her seat among the angels. So the Most High has withdrawn his intelligence from this earth because we love foolishness. The book of Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 3 explains exactly what all these arrogant, rebellious, non-humble parents did for November 2009 on Thanksgiving Assassination Day. And these parents, you're responsible for misleading these kids. That's why so many of these kids on this earth today are bugged out of their mind. And it states this, and they bend their tongues like their bowls for lies. And that's what you did when you ate that turkey. You bend your tongue just like a bowl and you taught lies. And then even some of us got nerves to say, God is grace, God is good. Thank you for this food. Amen. Most are not hearing no prayers, okay, concerning no Thanksgiving assassination day. Let me bring it to your attention. Satan is listening to your prayers because this is not.